This is Bartella in Nineveh Plain, the largest Syriac Orthodox town, who was occupied by ISIS and just liberated a few days ago. This is the church of Bartella, it got destroyed and burned. <laughs> Now we are about to leave Karamles and heading to the biggest Christian town in Nineveh Plain, which is called Hamdaniya or Karakosh. It was just liberated a couple of days ago, but there are still snipers around and some fighters hiding in tunnels. We just arrived in Karakosh, yeah. the largest city, the largest town, Christian town in Nineveh Plain, who just got liberated a couple of days ago, but there is still fighting going on and there are snipers around. This is a very historical moment. We're going to pray for the first time since two years since the town was captured by ISIS. <laughs> But now we are entering for the first time the largest church in Karakosh, the largest Christian town in Nineveh Plain, with the Syriac bishop. And we are praying here now for the first time again in this church. taking the pieces of a Christ statue from the ground which was destroyed by ISIS. We are just visiting another church in Karakosh. This is the Syrian Catholic Church, Mar Bahnan. Syrian Catholic Bishop enters the church of Mar Bahnan in Karakosh for the first time after two years. with ISIS since two years.
we call up to all the people, all the international community, all the Western states to support the minorities, to support the Christians here in Nineveh Plain. They have a future here. They want to live in, in peace and freedom. They need international security. They need international support in all areas. The people also on humanitarian, they need to rebuild their homes, they need to rebuild their houses. We thank you here very much in the name of our charity organization, Aramaic Relief International from Karakosh. Thank you very much. <laughs>